guys. This is gonna be my day five video. No, day six maybe, whatever day it is today. Um, but yeah, had a little break in the action. I was able to come home uh, for a few hours. I uh, wanted to make this video because I was actually thinking about, it. I think it's kind of a cool, funny idea. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be essentially a what's in my truck. Uh, I spent a lot of time doing the commute from Alpine to Jackson. It's about 40 minutes on average one way. Um, so yeah, I've logged quite a few minutes sitting in the truck doing a lot of thinking um, over the last couple of years. But anyway, bear with me, the wind is a little terrible and this is straight off my phone, no sort of buffer on the microphone, but I'm gonna try and uh, minimize that wind sound so we'll see what we can do. But first, let's start out. We got the back of the truck here. Take a look, see what you see. There's probably a lot more than you actually see here, but first off, pair of rainbow sandals I've had since high school. Still kicking, excellent, excellent purchase. Uh, and then the old standard Igloo cooler. It's got your, uh, your measuring area here for your fish you're gonna be catching when you use this thing. It's empty. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is my handy dandy Igloo, the STX, don't know what that stands for. 72 liter, I think it was at one point. Um, but yeah, sick, sick cooler there. Okay, next thing, we got my specialized hard rock comp. I got this bike also when I was in high school after my truck broke down uh, because I didn't put much oil in it one summer. Turns out you need to do that more often than you think. But anyway, this is a great little rig to have in the back of the truck in case something does go wrong mechanically. Um, I like to think that I'm kind of past that point of neglecting vehicles, but uh, you never know, right? This is like you're, instead of walking home, you're riding your bike home if your truck breaks down. Also here we have a spare tire, very old spare tire. Red is zero, but it would work in a pinch if you needed it to, so I keep it around. It's supposed to go underneath the bed of the truck, but I just don't, I don't mess with that. I, keep it in the truck bed here box of tools so again if there is any sort of mechanical issue on my truck I might have some tools that'll help fix it just depends on what the problem is generally I'm not much of a uh, knowledgeable truck mechanic so those tools will only get me so far got some tie down straps great for when I put the dirt bike in got some old coffee cups got some jumper cables there let's come around to the other side um, I got my like deck shoes. These are Sanook shoes. They're sick. They're not, they're called, well, Sanook says they're not shoes, they're sandals. And they're awesome. Get a pair. This is my tripod. I got a great little slot right here that I put it in. Keep it with me. Let's get into the meat of it all. Inside here, passenger side, you can see another Igloo brand Playmate bought this at the second hand store. Put some sick stickers on it. This sticker. I think I waited roughly 15 years to put it on something. You can see I waited too long. So kids, lesson of the day, don't wait to put your stickers on things. Put it on something. It was an awesome ride snowboard sticker, uh, but it just did not seem to last as long as I expected it to. Backcountry United, awesome, check them out. Wyoming pride right there, folks. Um, you notice a recurring thing here with Igloo. I actually did a photo shoot with Igloo long ago, but I think I was uh, typecast as the father figure without actually knowing it. But either way, it was a fun time. Got some camera equipment down here. Generally, I like to tote the camera bag with me any day of the week. It used to be the drone box when I had a smaller drone kit. Now I have a giant like Pelican case that is just too much to tote around all the time. Back here, you got a rain jacket, bivy sack. Kind of a emergency pack. I got a first aid kit in there with other tools. Sleeping bag. My big dog sun hat here. Um, and my sleeping pad. I had all this stuff because I was shooting Milky Way photos for a real estate listing. Um, actually from video three or two. Uh, yeah, I brought all this stuff up there and kind of camped out on the site uh, to wait it out to get the perfect timing for Milky Way, but I ended up just napping right here and never even pulled that stuff out. But you never know, be prepared, right? That's what I like to think. My day pack right here, Dekine, sick. 
coffee zone. This is kind of my coffee zone. I'm a big fan of using these mugs when I drive. I don't like all the fancy mug action. I like the ceramic. Cell phone charger, always gotta stay plugged in. This area up here on the dashboard, kind of a cool eclectic mix of items here. So we have Olo clip. Can you see it? It's actually, this is for an iPhone 5. This is my old Olo, well, my only Olo clip, but it was for my old phone. It slides over the top, gives you fisheye lens, gives you wide angle lens, and then you can flip them around and you can get macro 5 or 10X and 20X. 15X and another X size. Cool thing to buy for your phone, but it doesn't fit on this phone now. Elk call, cow elk call. Try and practice on this thing. It's probably nasty and dirty, but let's give it a rip. It's kind of a cow elk sound there. This old tape measure. I wonder how many units of measurement, total distance measured, this thing is logged. As you see, I use my thumb here. It has no lock. So you gotta be kinda handy with it. Uh, USB power bank. Don't really use it as often as I, you would think I do. Spare change, great for a cup of coffee. Ice cube air freshener, well past its uh, day of, date of life, whatever you wanna say. Um, oh yeah, in here. Got a little notepad for jotting down notes. Got a, actually a tourniquet. Kind of goes along with my first aid kit. You never know what you might run into on the highway. Accident wise, have a little first aid training. WD-40 hand sanitizer. Let's do a quick walk around. GoPro mount, that's how I get all those sick truck time lapses. Little custom fab job here. Tape your thing onto your thing. And yeah, here's that can of bear spray I talked about. Custom camo job, sick. Nitrile gloves going back to first aid. You never know what you might see on the highway. Trusty roll of duct tape, cables. That's it guys, that's the rundown. Hopefully the wind sounds not too bad. Hopefully you like this day five video. See ya.